I want to make a quick point about a, a set. I, I'm, I'm again, I'm in doing in Texas. We do nest predator control. We've got two coons here, but there's a good lesson to learn because I've gave a lot of instruction to guys that are culvert fanatics. And what'll happen if you just get so focused on that culvert, you're going to be missing a whole lot of coons. And this is a perfect example why. This coon here is coming through a hole that's coming through this culvert, which a lot of guys will go, okay, that, that's where the coons are coming from. I'm going to set a trap right there. Putting the conner bear under the fence. If you're, you check your state laws on that, because a lot of states you can't put conner bears under fences. You may not want to because of dogs anyway. But this other coon was not coming through the fence. This coon, not coming through the fence. This particular coon is coming over the road. He's coming through this gap. Can you see that in the camera? He's coming through this gap. And he's either coming down in here, or you can see this little bitty trail that's coming right out through here. There's cat droppings right there also. So the cats are coming down and they're coming up. This coon, I don't know which way it's going because he's getting caught right here. But when you come to these culverts, you, the two things you should think about, are they going through the culvert or are they going over the road? And if you see evidence of both, for goodness sake, set both of them up because it's more fun to be taking two critters out of your trap than it is one. And I'm gonna get this set up and then I'll show you what the, the kind of the set, I guess, what it is when I get this thing set up. I've got these, these condor bears set back up. I've got one in the bottom and all I'm doing basically is pinching this condor bear with a stick because the hole's bigger than the trap. Just pull up a bunch of crap on the sides. Then over here on this one, I'm having to use, just like I showed on the other video, where I'm using the snare supports from Freedom Brands. They're not made for that, but it's, it's working good for the fence because I've got to wedge this trap in here with those to keep it stable so when the cat or the next coon comes through, he's coming through. And you notice I'm using grass and all kind of stuff to help block and camouflage that for the cats and possibly coyotes coming through here. But the, the point of this whole thing is don't get culvert fixated when you're trapping because if you do there's a good chance you'll be missing at least as many coon as you're catching and the price of coon the way they're going up you don't need to be doing that now what we're getting ready to do which will be a separate video is because both of these for south texas are small this is an average coon for me in tennessee for south texas down here they're averaging three and four x's so these are young coon we got a little slough back here believe it or not down here with water there's a massive coon trail i'm gonna put out some some uh of these new traps I'm testing for, for Freedom Brands, they're dog proof traps because I know there's a lot of coon going back and forth because both of these are little peeps and I want the adults too.